the FBI arresting two people for a plot to allegedly attack the Democratic headquarters in Sacramento. Yeah, and within the last few hours, we've learned more information about where they were from and how they plan to do this. ABC 10's Jock Maluka is live with the very latest on this breaking news. Jock what can you tell us? Well, Madison and Chris, I can't underscore the seriousness of the allegations against these two men who are accused of plotting to attack the Democratic Party headquarters here in Sacramento. That's the building that's right behind me. But this is a busy area of downtown. It's just across the street from the California Highway Patrol's main building. The FBI accusing these men and equating them essentially to domestic extremists uh, after their allegation, uh, the allegations against them. Uh, again, very serious. This building just down the street from the state capitol. The federal court in San Francisco just unsealed an indictment charging 45 year old Ian Rogers of Napa and 37 year old Jared Copeland of Vallejo for allegedly planning attacks on Democratic targets following the 2020 presidential election, including a bombing of the Democratic Party headquarters in Sacramento. The men allegedly sought support from an anti government militia group. That alleged plan was thwarted by the FBI just before inauguration day when Rogers was arrested and a search of his business led authorities to nearly five pipe bombs and nearly 50 guns, including three machine guns. Sacramento's Mayor Daryl Steinberg condemned the planned attack tonight. The chair of the California Democratic Party, Rusty Hicks, issued a statement tonight saying, quote, we are relieved to know the plot was unsuccessful. The individuals believed to be responsible are in custody and our staff and volunteers are safe and sound. Yet it points to a broader issue of violent extremism that is far too common in today's political discourse course. Now, Copeland was arrested yesterday and has since bailed out here in Sacramento. Uh, the two men face both conspiracy charges, while Copeland also faces a obstruction of justice charge for allegedly destroying evidence, and Rogers faces some charges related to weapons.